So for today, we're going to be looking at the Warlocks more specifically. We're going to be looking at the D&D sets. Now, I have already done the Hunter and Titan video. They're both right here. Just definitely check them out. I really like a lot of the sets that I made for all the classes. And I've already done the review and the shader video. They're both right here. The review video, we look at how it looks, how it shaders, my personal thoughts. And I pretty much gush about the armor because I do think it's amazing. And then the shader video, we look at my favorite shaders because if I go through all of them, I legitimately fall asleep. <laughs> so if you guys like the video, like, comment, subscribe, we really do appreciate it because a huge portion of people are actually not subscribed, which is wild. So if you guys like the video, like, comment, sub, hit the bell notification and subscribe because it is free. And then if you guys like the content, this is a majority of my content. A lot of it is fashion related. So yeah, appreciate y'all. Let's just get into it. So to start off, we're going to be using the Flayer's Dominion hood with the Flayer's Dominion bond. Now, quick note, uh, I don't hate the, hel the helmet or the bond anymore. I, it's more of just like a, using it without the the oh, the whole Flayer's Dominion set just feels off, which is why like I'm usually not the biggest fan of a piece that's very distinct, which that's like my main issue. Like, I think it looks cool. I just hate that I'm going to have to use it in a set, which granted, this set does look really cool. There's just a few things I would change, specifically the shadering. Night vision is not the choice I would have done. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, Lucid would have been a way better shader because the glow is actually a almost a one to one to the necrotic grip uh, gl glow. For the chest piece, I think this was a great choice. It almost makes me look like I'm a like a cult member, and the carapace boots kind of make it seem like I'm turning into uh, something like that. My like my feet and basically like b my waist below is already transformed and everything else is waiting to be transformed almost so i definitely like this one um it's just more of a yeah i don't i don't like the helmet or the bond because they're just very very distinct and what i mean by that is like it literally is a squid head bro and there we don't have a lot like if we had more squid pieces i think this would have been cool like the aphotic limular would pieces would be really cool with this because it is more underwater like under the sea type of shit but yeah that's like where my annoyance just comes in other than that i think the whole set does look really cool from like a whole set standpoint but from a whole like i take pieces it's really rough so let me know what you guys think about this one as for the next set we're going to be using the aphotic limular hood with the flares dominion gloves for the chest piece chroma cloak robes and for the boots, we're going to be using boots of the assembler with the homespun boots ornament. And then for the bond, hex rot bond is what we're using. So for the shadering welded brass specifically because it turns everything really, really dark. And the one thing that I really find annoying with the chroma cloak stuff is the fact that there's like a rainbow sheet like sheen to it, which pisses me off because it just makes everything look weird because there's only one piece that has that rainbow and nothing else, which is why I get really annoyed with it. Um, that being said, this 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 set is the reason why Chroma Cloak, uh, I made all sets for all the classes because I was like, if I can use the chess piece for the Warlocks and another set that I, another piece that I use, I can definitely see if I can make a video for the Chroma Cloak for all the classes. So definitely thank the Warlocks for that one because if I remember correctly, I think it was the boots that I ended up using or something. I don't remember what the specific piece was, but it was the helmet. Okay, so it was the helmet that I ended up using, which that set looks amazing. But for this one, um, I like it a lot. I definitely, definitely really like it. It's really weird, though, because the boots of the assembler, specifically the homespun boots, it's just such a weird choice here, but it doesn't look bad in my opinion. It's mostly because, like... There's not a lot of armor pieces to this. I think the arms and the boots and the, I guess the, the bond are the only armor pieces in this because the chest piece definitely gives more of like a cloth feel than anything else. So I definitely like this one. Uh, would it be a set that I went with for the boots of the assembler? Uh, yeah, I would. Uh, I don't even know if I've done any of the other like, I don't know if I've done boots of the assembler fashion. I think I have a video out for it. But that's pretty much it. Let me actually see in my Warlock uh, folders to see if I did anything with that. Because I actually don't remember off the top of my head. So give me one second. So I did end up using pieces. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. They're okay, I guess. Hopefully I'm showcasing this for you guys so you guys can see it. But yeah, this this I, like I said, the folders that I made comes comes in clutch because it 
kind of reminds me like I've done I've done sets for this as well and stuff like that. So pretty cool, I guess. Overall, let me know what you guys think about this set. As for the next piece, we're going to be using Flayer's Dominion Robes. Now, this one is pretty bitchin' in my opinion. We are reusing another piece from a different from the first set, which is going to be the Carapace Boots. But I think this one is way better. So for the helmet, we're going to be using the Diadem of Deceit for the Crown of Tempest. For the arms, gloves of the Taken King. For the boots, Carapace Boots, like I said. And then Iron, Iron Forerunner bond for the bond for the shadering midnight smith specifically because a it has red in it and i think red goes really well with like this kind of look and it turns off glows which is really good because glow uh gloves of the taken king have a glow but it doesn't have this one because obviously it turns it off so overall this looks so menacing in such a good way that being said i would probably switch out the helmet for something else not saying uh, the Crown of Tempest, specifically the Diadem of Deceit looks bad. It just doesn't look like I, I definitely look really cool, but I feel like there's potential to make it like really terrifying. So the helmet would probably be switched out for something else. That being said, I don't know what helmet would be switched out that would be useful because there are helmets that the Warlocks can definitely be using specifically like I think Verity's Brow would be interesting. That being said, you would definitely have to use Dreaming Spectrum for the shader because if even Dreaming Spectrum has that one to one bone color, which I don't think it has it, but you could definitely use Skull, Skull of Dire Ahamkara would be an easy choice, but no one uses that because it's a trash exotic. So I don't even like I don't even blame people for being like Skull of Dire Ahamkara. Like what? Yeah, definitely trash exotic. So definitely don't blame anyone for me <laughs> for them being like ew because exotics trash so i definitely like this one it's definitely my favorite from all of these is the fourth one is pretty sick though which let's just get into it so for this one we're going to be using the chroma cloak hood with opulent strix robes i think these two are perfect for each other because the opulent strix robes has feathers obviously and the chroma cloak has feathers or what looks like feathers on the helmet which i thought was going to be a really good combo and this is where like my head was just kind of blown away because i think the the accoser draconum for for the sun bracers specifically with Berguzi and knight looks amazing with this set because it looks almost a one-to-one -one with the helmet because the unfortunately or fortunately in this case i guess the sunbracers the Ocoser draconum i'm just gonna call it the draconum the draconum has blue steel that doesn't change color but with Berguzi and knight it looks really cool because it almost has a one-to-one -one coloring uh profile with the helmet which i think it looks amazing that being said the glow is also a really good choice because we're going to be using elect of the empty bond which gives off that same purple as the helmet and the arm so overall i'm like over the moon with these three pieces i think they're amazing and then the flayers dominion boots now this is where i kind of like fall off a little bit because i like the boots but unfortunately the boots don't have that same purple which i really wanted to get so i think Braguzian knight for the boots would have been a better choice that being said there is some off coloring to the boots so that's why i didn't use it and i was like fuck it whatever I like i i wanted in my head i was like fuck it we'll just have that that purple color be the accent to everything else which is fine i guess but i think this one is the best one i am really happy that i have a a draconum set that i actually really like that being said, I, I want to see if I can go and find a better chess piece for this. I like the chess piece, not going to lie. It looks really cool. But there is a chess piece from uh, Trials of the Nine that also has feathers in it. So I'm going to see if that one looks a little bit better. And honestly, I, mean, I might switch out the boots for something else. So I'm definitely still going to keep the Chroma Cloak Hood, the Draconum, and the uh, Elect of the Empty bond every other piece i might just switch out to see if i can really fine to fine tune this one and make it better so overall i love these sets i think these sets are amazing i really am happy with with these let me know what you guys think i will be hopefully hopefully my internet is back by the time this video is out uh well that makes no sense hopefully my internet is back so that way i can post this as fast as i can because i have a lot of other content that i want to do i'm also going to be working on a really big video that i decided to bring back because i was working on it and i was making a script for it but i just decided to not do it because it was a lot of time that it was killing through and i was not making content so 
it's basically going to be reviewing all of the fashion in all of the games that I play. And we're going to be doing Destiny 2 in there as well. So it's going to be like reviewing like, oh, how do you do uh, the transmog in the game? And then going through if it's easy, player fr- new player friendly, stuff like that. And uh, spoiler alert, Destiny 2 is not great at all. So yeah, we're going to be going through that. And I'm going to be really excited because... Uh, it's a video I've been wanting to make for a while because that in my head, that video will be the video that makes me transition to other videos or other games. So Final Fantasy 14 that their expansions already been out for a while and I want to catch up to that, which means I have to do the updates first because I haven't done the updates and then I'll probably post the story on both channels. Uh, we'll see. I'll, I'll, I want to see how I'll do it first. So I'll definitely post it on my second channel my and my main channel, which is this one. We'll see how I edit it or probably just do like uh, all of the story into one fat video or in pieces. We'll see. And then World of Warcraft expansion is coming out, I think, this month or next month. I don't remember. So we're also going to do the story for that because I am definitely interested in doing the story for that one. And then a Warframe, I think, is doing something. I don't know what they're doing, but we'll probably do it, even though Warframe historically I've played like. Warframe is definitely the epitome of like ADHD for me because I'll play it for like a good two months straight and then drop it like hard after that. So we'll see about Warframe. I think I'm missing one game. Oh, Elder Scrolls Online. I unfortunately can't play it right now because I don't have any internet. So we'll see how I play that. But I want to, I want to, I really want to give that game a try because I feel like the fashion should be amazing in that one. That being said, I have nothing to, to like, I have no like evidence to to say that it's just more of a feeling that being said i don't know if they have like coloring for their armor because a big thing is if it doesn't have if you can't dye your armor then i do think the the game is going to be extremely limited which i'm definitely looking at warframe for or not warframe definitely looking at world of warcraft for that one but i've talked enough let me know what you guys think i appreciate y'all be safe i will see you guys later